welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I need to get, oops, to the projection booth in order to meet with the mysterious Grandmaster, who is probably going to be another version of Alan, or, you know, given the way that this is sort of a cliché story, oh, it's a plot twist, or it's a character we already met, maybe it's Yako, I don't know. But, uh... The problem is that there's a never-ending horde of really vicious shadows out there. Like, my god. Uh, shout out to Yornik. Usually Yornik provides us with, uh, well, nonsense, and I'd like him for that. Uh, today actually fills in a blank. Uh, I believe it was the first line of Dark, Twisted, and Cruel, the song the on... Oh, it does this sometimes, yes. Yes, the song they played after we met Mr. Scratch. Was it the first line? Well, it was really close to the beginning, anyway. Yeah. Raul, Duke, and Buck. They are my crowd. Uh, shout out to Ornick who says, Raul Duke is a character created by and largely based on Hunter S. Thompson. Think the main guy in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. And Buck was a nickname of Charles Bukowski, another American writer. Knowledge! Oh, and shout out to Fay Otter, who says of the final battle in Saga's story when we were defending the old gods of Asgard, this battle can be summed up with three words. Current objective. Survive. Ooh, that's a dark cut. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, and, uh... Shout out to Yornik, who says of the end of Saga's story, Well, that was unexpected. But I'm certain Saga and Alan will fix everything. They are protagonists, after all. At least they don't have to worry about villainous trees and evil plants. Agents Hugs and Dancer, with the most gracious help from Evie, made sure of that. The dar oh, made sure the Dark Presence stays clear of local flora. It did involve the FBC veteran Teddy Bear mowing down shadowy monsters at his minigun, <laughs> plushy deer agent rocking two pistols like John Wick, and a lovely porcelain lady playing the piano and singing. Where did she find a piano in the middle of the forest, you might ask? But that is just one of her me of Evie's many strange talents. Any time she wants to play, there's a piano nearby. However, since she's a really talented musician and singer, nobody seems to mind when this happens. And the song she chose for the assault on the dark forest of darkness? Fear of the Dark by Iron Maiden. Agent Hugs, being a fan of this, a fan of this band, sure appreciated it. All right, I'm just putting off the inevitable. I'm going to put a jump cut here so that I can just tag this on to the successful run. So here goes. Wish me luck. Okay, I have discovered that the door upstairs is where I'm meant to be going. Unfortunately, I have also discovered that the shadows can open doors if I close them behind me. I have a flashbang. This is where I wish I was covered in Christmas lights and berry. Can I put the light back like this? It's a big chunk they won't want to walk in, anyway. Oh. The guy I was aiming at didn't exist! What the hell am I looking at? Shadow with a shadow. I'm running. And 
hiding on this bridge won't matter because they can just teleport behind me. Fucking reload. my breath right now. Oh! No, you don't! Oh! You see? That guy wasn't there a fucking second ago. Pills. Second, that shotgun. Don't mind if I fucking do. Whoa! Limpieza, commercial products, eight one nine six. Oh, hey, I kind of loathe this experience, you know that? You know what? I'm going to do something dumb. Just use this so I can take that with me. At least I'll be at full health. Okay. Good. Christ, I hate that. I hate that a lot. Okay, let's get the hell out of here, and we'll close this door behind us, too. Oh! I heard that. I heard a door. Let's do this real quick. Wrong one. Uh, clip of the lost film here in the lobby, now that we're back inside. Lots of posters for Yotan Yo and Nightless Light, whichever version you're watching. Oh! I increased the ambient light in the area and a bunch of the shadows vanished. The ones that hadn't noticed me yet. I mean, that would mean those were non-hostile ones anyway. I'm drowning. Realized this whole time I hadn't started the timer because I'd just been dying over and over again. Sorry. Ahem. Oh! What the hell? Where did you even come from? doesn't help that that guy's clothes reminded me of Ati. Not that I think Ati could be taken. He seems to be largely immune to the rules of this place. Funny that Alan didn't have a word to say about this. The Grand Master. The Grand Master was expecting a visitor. Dark. I was panicked about that, Justin, because a shadow appeared right in front of me, but he wasn't a real shadow. Just one of those fake ones. It almost gets you... wait. I don't actually know how to get to the, uh... That reflection is weird. story, and you are not welcome in it. He gathered behind the doors their rites of initiation. The Grandmaster was expecting a visitor. Uh, the secret truths waited in the film Nightless Night. I like that one. Uh, it was the cult of the word to open the doors to the theater. Oh, those are downstairs. I just suddenly remembered.
Oh. Oh, the place is still lousy with them, but I've still got two charges with me. Yeah, let's not let's not tempt fate. On second thought. Guess I put the light back in the car, that's right. The way that Alan spun around real, real fast in order to close the door. Oh, that's right, I meant to come back to the bathrooms, didn't I? Ow! Fucking! Oh, shit! His buddy's missing. Where's his buddy? And it's not you. Look at that. Even beings that only exist conceptually don't like being shot in the face with a shotgun. Uh, cult of the Word. Right. So. Uh, New York's finest. That's right, the cops. Nope, this room looks identical. Uh, clip of the lost film. This would be a strange place to notice this. Nothing has changed. I didn't even like, put like a poster in here or anything. The Grandmaster. Well, then how the hell am I meant to get in there? What? Oh, that's the map. Oh, maybe there's a thing on this side. That I did get. I'm gonna need that. There's a bunch of those glitchy guys around. In fact, let's heal right now. More pills. Okay, where am I fucking going? Right, refreshing booth. Uh, we don't know how to get there. Got it awake. No, you're thinking of some other asshole with a flashlight. On a side note, I I don't like the fact that they're all already aware of me. Oh, shit. Going the right way. That was a jump scare. I can't even make out what it was. Oh, clip of the lost film. Oh fuck, there's shadows sitting in the chairs. Turn this goddamn flashlight off. Uh 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 the Grandmaster. Oh. This was dark. Let me guess, the door on the screen is now real. Because it was weirdly life size. Uh. Okay, I'm breathing. While I'm doing that. What does that say? The Grandmaster's Dark Invitation. Yeah, a guy in a, uh, a Cult of the Tree robe appeared on the stage, uh, on the screen, I mean, turned around and walked through a door. And that's all that's left on the screen right now, is a door. Uh, right. This is madness. Although I guess that kind of goes without saying. I just make my way down. Uh, I'm the usher. Tickets, please. No, wait, that's what they do on trains. Ushers to see if you're, like, fucking or using your phone to record. Oh, there's an A prompt on the fake door on the screen. 
Oh, it's got this, the viral on it. I found myself in a maze of film equipment. That's a lot. There had to be a way to the projection booth from here. Film cans. Everything is in I black and alone. white, except red. Even Alan's in black and white now. Actually, the the only red be appearing kind of reminds me of uh, the saboteur. Film can. I'm here, you son of a bitch. Show yourself. The grand master of my ass. You're a clown in a mask. Plot twist. It's Mark Hamill. I don't think even uh, Control did any sequences where all the color leaked out of the world. posters look like that appears to be a person viewed from behind except any view of their head is overwritten with several overlapping images of mouths gritting their teeth this whole set of drawers is just painted on projection booth here we go No one here, but but nothing. I can't interact with whatever this stuff on the table is. This is the other. I was back where I started. A loop within a loop. Well played. I had to keep going. Oh, this poster for Nightless Night is very clearly uh, the writing room, except for the blur smearing out the, uh, the typewriter. And the blur appears to be a nose, because there's also a blurry mouth and chin below that, and it lines up such that the two uh, windows at the back of the writing room are lined up like lights with red light pouring out of them eyes with red light pouring out of them. I also notice on this English version of the poster it says, A Dark Place Films Presents. Oh, Lord have mercy. Because the presence will not. I'm here, you son of a bitch! Show yourself! Who, who was that? Who said that? The grand master of my ass. You're a clown in a mask. I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron! Grandmaster is another... another Casey. Holy shit. I had been wondering about that. In Saga's story, Casey said that he saw the Dark Presence. And that it had Alan's face jump-scaring at him in it. They're pulling in the other Casey. They're making the, the fictional Casey and... Well, well, I don't know how fucking metafictional any of this gets. So they're making the... Uh, Detective Casey uh, opposed to the FBI agent Casey. The Casey in the story was losing it. I wasn't far behind. Yeah, I noticed that. Not right now, but there was that video about, uh, stop writing and after it finished why would I do that that's madness this is too it's locked this time oh fuck the wooden board against that wall is suddenly a door I thought this was like an empty poster frame I was back at the beginning again I had to keep going find a way to the murder site I'm here, you son Hello? of a bitch. Hey! Show yourself! Who, who was that? Who said that? That's a real clever trick, asshole! 
but I saw something. You can something. run, but you can't hide. I didn't. You're a gray head mask in my ass. You're a clown in a mask. I'm not the one wearing a mask in here, you moron. Why don't you come here and say that to my face, buddy? Then we'll see who's the moron. Oh, TV. Seriously, just gonna leave that one hanging? There's stop writing. So that was, you know, the Dark Presence ate his mind, and we've seen that happen. When it just plunged into his forehead that one time. By the way, one of my only regrets for uh, the saga, real regrets for the saga thing, is that I didn't find all of the uh, Koskala ads, like the TV commercials. There was one missing. But given that I went basically everywhere while searching for secrets and stuff, I feel like it was probably bugged or it only shows up in a higher difficulty or something. All right. Uh, I'm just trying to think this through. So he, so Departure was the book that shaped Alan Wake 1. Uh, I don't actually know what the name of the screenplay that shaped Al Alan Wake's American Nightmare was. Maybe it was just American Nightmare. Uh, like that was presented as an episode of Night Springs, but of course it would still have an individual title. Um, yes, he wrote Departure while being forced to by Barbara Jagger until, uh, Thomas Zane freed him. Return is the story that was shaping Saga's side of this story that we were under the impression was written by Mr. Scratch and edited by Alan. And he keeps trying to write Return, and it doesn't work. But their Return is... Supposedly written by the other guy? Was that the trick? Was Alan not the one who could write Return? But he said very clearly, I can't write Return until Initiation. So he's writing the story that shapes this side of the story. They're both happening simultaneously. Jesus Christ! Well, of course they're both happening simultaneously. That video could have been recorded a hundred years ago. I see it now. The question, how do you run from an idea, from a thought, from a story that lives in your head? You can't escape your fears. You carry your monsters with you. The devil on your back, it's in you. You're running right back to it. A loop. I have to stop. Stop running. Stop writing. I won't call another word. It's too dangerous. Only horror comes out of it. People get hurt. I will let the currents of this ocean wash me away. But what if I forget why I stopped? What if I forget I stopped at all? That is fucked up. If that happens, I'll start writing again. I really like just the acknowledgement, just this one time, that is fucked up. Holy shit! Which one is this? That goes on a billboard. Something kept me going. A broken man. No hope, no prospects, no love. 
too stubborn to die like a cockroach with a misguided sense of honor and justice in a city where there can never be justice i refuse to quit out of spite a self-inflicted punishment for failures that could never be redeemed refuse to stay lying down after a beating crawling back to my feet only to get lined for another one a perpetual masochistic motion machine maybe uh, uh, in some other reality what a sadistic godlike creator kept writing cases for me just to keep selling my suffering to Whoa. violence hungry mass I don't remember this profit I, I vividly remember the there uh, the city where there can be no justice but that whole last bit, I don't remember that. Did they extend these when you actually listen to them on the uh, the radio screen? Huh. Well. I'm gonna call this one here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2. There are many questions to consider, and I'm not sure where we're going. But I'll be damned if I'll let this place stand in my way. Uh, literally. Yeah. Well, till then, take care. Enjoy the vivid colors of life. And stay in the light.